That's right, Izzy. We just got here a few minutes ago. I can tell you it's a really big scene, a lot of moving parts and a really heavy police presence out here. It's causing quite a traffic backup, but we're just trying to figure out what exactly happened here. And I'm I'm here with Fort Worth PIO, Buddy Calzada. He's ready to give us an update, uh, sharing what they're able to so far. Um, Josh, if we want to go ahead and talk with Buddy here. Sure. Um, and so it's a very, pretty big presence um, and we're steps away from RL Pasco High School. Uh, right. What can you tell us so far? What can I tell you? What I, I can tell you that we've got a lot of streets blocked off where it's an active investigation right now. Uh, we got a call at about four o'clock this afternoon, uh, just a little after four o'clock, uh, telling us about a shooting in this location. We're at the 2400 block of uh, Westbury Street. I can tell you right now we do have two confirmed uh, victims that have been, have been shot. Uh, right now, their conditions are unknown. They are receiving medical treatment at local hospitals, and uh, we have numerous detectives and officers on scene speaking with the witnesses, trying to gather more information, as much information as we can for this case. And so they've been transported to hospitals? That's correct. Our shooting victims have been transported to local hospitals. Any indication where the victims came from? Were they employees at the Whataburger or high school students? Right, you know, that's why it's real important for the witnesses uh, to stick around that we're talking to here. We want to gather all of that information. Uh, anybody that may have video evidence, you can call us at our non-emergency number and share that with our detectives. That number is 817-392-4222. And we'd like to just, like I said, gather as much information as we can. Tell us kind of what, what are the moving parts here because we've got a pretty heavy presence. Um, I guess what's the biggest thing you're trying to figure out since we don't have any victim identity information? Right. What we're going to do is if we need the public's assistance, we're, we're trying to figure out who the shooter is or shooters in this case. Uh, that right now, we don't, we, we're trying to figure out. It's, it's very active over there. Uh, our job is to, you know, get with you guys and let them uh, do, gather the information. They may have more, more of that for us here in a little bit, but as of right now, uh, this is all we're able to provide. Is there a threat to the public right now, uh, safety concerns? Right now, uh, outside of this, we don't feel that there's a threat to the public. Well, there you have it. Some information uh, from Fort Worth police as they're still trying to gather a lot of details in this case. But what we can say is there have been uh, two victims shot here outside of Whataburger um, on Forest Park Boulevard. Uh, they're still trying to figure out what condition they're in and the gender ages. We don't have that information yet, but we will be out here all afternoon trying to gather some more information. Live in Fort Worth, I'm Adriana Dalva. All right, Adriana, thank you. And you heard the spokesperson for Fort Worth PD. If you have any information on this shooting, please call them at 817-392-4222. Yeah, a boy and a girl, both teenagers in, in critical condition right now.